Um, they said we wouldn't. They said we couldn't. They said the coronavirus was going to stop us. It didn't. We didn't have to go online. But tonight I am here with director Benjamin Noah, who is the director of a fantastic, fantastic short called New Woman, starring Rhiannon Morgan and Stephen Oates. How are you tonight, Benjamin? I am fantastic. It's actually, uh, I guess, late afternoon over here, a little uh, earlier than over in London. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a... F- it's a funny one. I, I keep forgetting about this bloody time difference. New Woman is a, a fantastic shot being shown at the festival. It's a gothic tale concerning a male pickpocket and a wealthy woman uh, descending into a labyrinth of terror in 1888. This, my friend, was right up my street. I love all this gothic noir. Yeah, you, you were onto a winner before I even turned this on, but it helped that it was fantastic. The The short movie itself is nominated for Best Short, Best Cinematography, Best Score, and Yourself, Best Director. Yeah. I mean, damn. Is it, there's, we're we're going to get into New Woman, but first of all, um, what I've been doing is sort of break the ice and to find out about everyone's sort of current situations with the, the global pandemic, which is, you know, it's affecting everything, especially the film industry. It kind of just stopped everything just you know and how have you been keeping during the lockdown and and as i had your creative juices flowing and and uh yeah how have you been uh, i've been pretty good i mean newfoundland uh we've been pretty fortunate here we have a very minimal amount of cases mm. in uh, an island in the middle of the atlantic ocean <laughs> um so from that uh perspective it's been good uh but it's been it's been tough reading the articles about where, you know, filmmaking is going and to see all the cinema shut down. And that's, it's all been a very tough pill to swallow, but at the same time, um, I'm one of those people that uh, there's going to be no barrier that's going to stop me from uh, making a movie. Uh, you know, I, I've pushed things until next year just for uh, safety purposes. Because yeah. obviously your crew has to be uh, first and foremost, their health and safety needs to be put at the forefront. I had a, a quick little question about how how you came to this movie and, and sort of, because um, I had to look through your, your credentials and things like that. And I saw that you'd done a lot of camera work. I saw that you'd done some, some first and third AD um, work on some pretty impressive of shows by the way i mean i'm a i'm a big jason momoa fan so it's nice to see you worked on some of his things which is cool yeah that was uh, that was frontier and brave and that was fun when he came to newfoundland it was you know he was great when he came because um i had just got back from turkey when that first season of frontier started and mm. that was the first time i saw a period piece on a big scale so i learned a lot working on that in terms of learning how to approach how i was going to do it now i had nowhere near the budget but uh, there's little tricks that you learn and pick up on, and that was super helpful for this. I don't know if I would have jumped right into a period piece if I hadn't worked on that show, to be honest. Nice, nice. Was was there was there any other sort of genre in your heart before that, or? Uh, well, uh, horror is actually. If you were to ask me what I was going to shoot, you know, first, I would have never said it would have been a horror movie. I'm not a I'm not a massive, huge horror guy. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm more of a kind of science fiction action, mm. that type of thing. But I'm a huge uh, history nerd, right? I love history. Nice. The, in terms of getting into the um, the horror type thing, I, I was kind of surprised that I did. But it was it was basically a catalyst from the writer who I uh, collaborated mm. with, and he's a horror aficionado, completely obsessed. Whereas I was a little more, I really love gothic stories. Yeah. But for me, like, there's not a, for my taste, I feel like there's not a hell of a lot of horror films that stand up as great films, regardless of genre. Like The Shining, uh, Rosemary's Baby, those type of films come to mind, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, my interest mostly was lying in the time period was a great interest to me yeah. and the gothic tone of it all. I love gothic stories, right? So uh, that was, yeah, that was the big uh, reason to get into that type of thing. But I'm doing science fiction and action next because I feel like 
that's where my heart lies. And uh, I think I'm going to do other historical films too. Nice. Um, but I'm really looking forward to tapping into the future as opposed to the past. Yeah, you say sci-fi, my juices are flowing. So, <laughs> so, so without without any spoilers, unless you want to, but without any spoilers, um, I kind of gave a little bit of a blurb about New Woman. But what would be your kind of um, elevator pitch? I would say for for the movie. I didn't have to do an elevator pitch because I basically be doing that to myself to convince myself to fund it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a yeah, it's a, it's, it's a real classical gothic story. And I feel like there's a twist there and it's done a little bit differently while still kind of paying homage and sticking to a lot of the uh, gothic elements, which I love. Rhiannon Morgan. I hope I'm saying her name right. I'm probably not, but... Yeah, no, that's correct. Oh, oh, oh my days. Like, where, where did you find Rhiannon? Because she has this old school sort of traditional yet yeah, you know, modern day Hollywood leading actress. She she's absolutely gorgeous. She looks great on the screen. She's a fantastic actress. Where did you find her? Uh, I'm glad you pointed that out because you took the words right out of my mouth. I'm always telling everyone that I feel like she's a leading lady. She oh could yeah, be up there with anyone else. And uh, that's not her voice. That's not her accent. Right. So we <laughs> work. We worked on that for a long time. And nice. uh, she was fantastic. But she, um, I met Rhiannon years ago. She was uh, working downtown while I was, when I was a bit younger. So she was just uh, a lovely lady that I'd run into and say hi from time to time. And um, I contacted her once I uh, got the script in a good place because she was the only one I envisioned in the nice. role. If she nice. said no, I wouldn't have done the movie. Um, but I gave her a shout and uh, she had seen my previous film, which is actually, I consider New One to kind of be my first film because the previous one was uh, a music video, even though it was like high concepts and, and things like that. It was, there's no dialogue, it was basically a music video. Um, but she had seen that, she was very complimentary and uh, we kind of hit it off right from the beginning in terms of uh, getting down to work. She cared as much about the project as I did. And uh, you can't really ask for anything else from an actor. Uh, and she was willing to follow me uh, wherever we went and put in the work. And she's a consummate professional and did everything, I mean, perfectly. I, mm. <laughs> it was such a pleasure. It didn't feel like work working with her. It was just a, a pleasure from beginning to end. And then once I actually cut together the final product, uh, I was just so even more impressed with her. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I can't say enough good things about Rhiannon. Tell the whole world, Rhiannon Morgan <laughs> should be starring in huge movies. And I mean, look out, man, because she's going to take over. I'm a, I'm, I'm a huge fan of an actor or an actress who can tell you an entire story of their life or, an, or the entire story of what's going on in, in this short movie without saying anything. And there's, there's scenes in this where you're just focused on her. The camera is focused on her and she ain't saying a word and, but she's saying everything, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, that's what I loved about her performance. She's, she's fantastic. I'm glad you picked up on that. Many people have, uh, and I always find it interesting to do more, tell the story through images than just dialogue. Yeah. Uh, so it's nice to have an actor of that caliber that you can tell the story with their face. And uh, what a great face. <laughs> and that was one of the other things as well. Um, like just, just the pictures. I mean, I, I've said to a few people when we've been talking about this movie, like you could take a still shot from this movie and you could stick it up on your wall. It's it, like just about every shot in this shot is a poster. Like, does that come from? Does that kind of come from your your camera work background and your sort of like you you obviously know how to frame a shot, which is which is awesome, but like I said, it's just every shot. Um, well, I, I storyboard everything, and all those shots were uh, planned out. Obviously, there is some augmentation on the day when yeah. things happen, um, but a lot of that as well is uh, my great DP Troy Marr. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, he takes direction very well, but he also brings his own um, 
level of intellect to the table. And um, I think if there is uh, one thing I feel I am bringing to the table as a filmmaker, uh, like you said, is it's a frame. I feel like uh, that's something that's always kind of been in me. Um, and I've tried to work on the technical aspects to increase my knowledge there to get better. Um, but I really appreciate you saying that about all those shots because uh, I'm not one to just throw in a shot. Like I, <laughs> I like I like frames that tell the story. Yeah. Here Scorsese talk about it all the time. He's like, I'm in the theater and the pictures don't mean anything. The frames don't yeah. mean anything. It's, and um, I like to uh, plan it all out and have everything uh you know where it needs to be uh case in point in a rush here to get this done uh, i can see that the line on the top of the screen is not quite level and <laughs> it's not the best frame it's bothering me but i'll deal with it <laughs> <laughs> i also cut my own film so like yeah i know what i'm doing with the camera movements i know what it's cutting into next you know all that is uh, well thought out beforehand and then you also have to be very fluid once you get on set too though because you can't be stuck to your storyboards because things change they yeah. always do right so i guess um we'll start wrapping up a little bit there because we don't want to take up too much of your time but new woman is absolutely tearing up the festival scene it's it's before the whole um pandemic and everything came along um you were everywhere and and nominations left right and center and the film is doing fantastic you you must be bloody proud of this film i'm very proud of the work everyone has done on it for sure i have a really great crew and i can't wait to gather them together they're like a little family right <laughs> i can't wait to gather them for the next one and uh I am. I'm proud of what I done. I did because uh, you know it was it was many years and a lot of work. You know, just to get the money together to shoot mm. it, and then the real work came after that. <laughs> shooting it. So it was just a crazy run of work, and I just sacrificed. I feel like any quality of life for yeah. like years to get it done. Right. So from that side of things, uh, I'm proud of that fact uh i do think that um i have reached another level through the work i've done since and i'm really looking forward to improving upon the skill set that's there uh but uh, i really appreciate all the kind words man it's uh it sounds uh very uh legitimate when you say it uh, oh. so it means a lot I, I'm, I'm gonna ask you to Pimp yourself out a little bit, I guess. Uh, let people know where they can find you and where they can um, find you women and your, your projects or anything like that. And then I've got one last question before we go. But yeah, if you could just let people know where they can find you. Sure. Uh, so uh, we've got an Instagram account, uh, which is arcfilm2049. So it's A-R-K-F-I-L-M 2049. Um, and then on Facebook, uh, it's just arcfilm. And that's singular, F-I-L-M. Um, we've got a Vimeo account as well, but again, uh, because this movie's in the festival run, yeah. it's not online for free or anything yet, but, uh, my first music video is on there and there's actually cool. a short prologue, uh, that's on there as well. Um, we're working on the website now and doing the, doing the next steps for everything. So there will be more over the course of the next year. And, uh, Next year will be will be really uh, moving. The ball's going to be rolling. We got a couple of those big projects coming, and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, Love to but yeah, it. the uh, the Instagram is a good spot to check out, and the Facebook account as well. Awesome, awesome. Love to hear all of that. Um, the blood. What did you use? Because that looks brilliant. Um, that... I don't I don't want to say anything about the scene, but. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, the reason why it is the way it is, and it has the viscosity it does. Yeah. Um, it, th there's reasoning for that in terms of the story. Hopefully, you picked up on that. Yeah. Um, but uh, that blood was a secret mix of a few things. <laughs> I don't like to give away the bad no, de definitely often. not. Just, just yeah. like, like, like I say, you certainly know how to frame a shot. You certainly know how to film things, clearly. It's, it looks gorgeous. And then you've got some blood that 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mince words. Just looks sexy as shit on the screen. <laughs> so they. Yeah, well, they, yeah, <laughs> a lot of people have said that, and there, there is, uh, I'm sure there. I mean, with that type of story, again, I don't want to give anything away yeah. here. Um, there is absolutely a, a high degree of sexuality in a lot of those <laughs> gothic stories, right? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, and that, uh, you know, uh, the actors pull it off perfectly. So, uh, again, all the bells and whistles, the blood and this and that, really all it comes down to is uh, Rianne is just a great actress, and she just pulled it off phenomenally. Right? I really wish I could have made it to that festival. I have to say, you guys, Romford Film Festival, you've been fantastic right from the get-go, very kind, and, uh, you know, you've uh, kept up the dialogue the whole time, and I'm just super thankful uh, for the nominations and the... Just the fact that it's on a big screen there yesterday yeah. was, oh my God, it was a dream come true because it was a long six months, man, mm -hmm. after Definitely. that pandemic. And all I wanted was for that movie to be back on a big screen. You guys really uh, killed it with that. So I'm, I'm super thankful and, and that's, grateful. That's awesome here. We, we, weren't, we weren't sure what was going to happen. I mean, I mean, like everyone, we weren't sure, but Spencer was... He was dead certain it was being physical and he was dead certain that we're, we're putting these on the big screen where they're supposed to be. People are going to get to see it in the cinema. No online. I'm not doing it. <laughs> it, was, it was quite awesome. Quite awesome for, for someone whose first year with the festival um, just to see how passionate he was to make sure people could sit their ass in a seat and watch a movie. Just to see that. I mean, that's why I got into this stuff in the first place was the theatrical experience, you know? Uh, it's the best feeling in the world seeing your work up on a huge screen and, and to talk to people about it afterwards and connect with people because yeah. that's another reason why we do it, to connect with people. That's yeah. really what it all boils down to, right? So, I mean, just to be able to chat with people on the other side of the world about my film is uh, absolute pleasure. So thanks a lot. Uh, remember Eric Film 2049 on Instagram, and uh, we got some big projects coming down the pipe. If anybody wants to get involved uh, in anything that's being shot in Newfoundland, this is the place to do it in the world going forward, and uh, I can make things happen. So don't awesome. uh, hesitate to get my email or my my contacts from the guys with the festival. Thanks a lot. Awesome.